Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was, according to recent Swatch Survection Survey, which city is declared as cleanest city in India? And the answer is, it is Indoor Madhya Pradesh. That is the cleanest city in India according to Swatch Survection Survey. Now let's start today's session. First question for the day with reference to Indo-US Vaccine Action Program VAP. Consider the following statement. Statement 1. The program has been under implementation since 1987 under the Gandhi Regan Science and Technology Agreement. Statement 2. Its focus is on safe, cost-effective vaccines against a range of infectious diseases. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, Option B 2 only, Option C both 1 and 2 and Option D neither 1 nor 2. Guys, here both the statements are correct. So our answer is Option C both 1 and 2. This program, the Indo-US Vaccine Action Program is a 33 year old collaboration between US National Institute of Health and uh, Indian Department of Biotechnology and the Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR. Its focus is on safe, cost-effective vaccines against a range of infectious diseases. And in the context of current pandemic, partners under this vaccine action program are planning to collaborate on the development and testing of vaccine candidates and diagnostics for COVID-19. And also as a measure of Measure for containing COVID, US President announced 200 ventilators for India. It will be paid for by the US Agency for International Development USAID as a part of $5.9 million funding announced to date for India. And the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said it would separately fund Government of India a 3.6 million dollar to support prevention preparedness and response activities in india in collaboration with uh, and concurrence of concurrence from the government of india and india also has exported anti malaria drug hydroxychloroquine to us and also to several other countries in the time of this pandemic so we are also reciprocating it that uh, that is it we will now move to second question Second question is with reference to sunspot, consider the following statement. Statement 1 They are temporary phenomena on the photosphere of the sun. Statement 2 It has a higher surface temperature compared to the surrounding photosphere. And statement 3 It usually appears as pairs with each spot having the opposite magnetic polarity of the other. Which of the above statements is are correct option a 1 and 2 only option b 2 and 3 only option c 1 and 3 only and option d 1 2 and 3 guys the second statement here is wrong actually sunspot is cooler than the surrounding photosphere so our answer comes option c 1 and 3 only it is a phenomenon, a dark patch on the surface of the sun is known as sunspot. You can see the image here. The dark patch is sunspot. And sunspots appears as dark areas because they are about 500 to 1500 degrees Celsius cooler than the surrounding chromosphere. That is, chromosphere is a layer of sun. And guys, today we are not having quiz question. We are having a challenge instead. The challenge is to name the layers of sun from outer to inner layer in that order. So the challenge is name the layers of sun from outer to inner layer in that order. Try answer within 30 seconds and also please post your answers in the comment section. Uh, coming back to discussion, the individual sunspot has a lifetime ranging from a few days to a few months and uh, each spot has a black center or umbra and a lighter region or penumbra surrounding it and it has been suggested that sun is one person cooler when it has no sunspot and that this variation in solar radiation might affect 
the climates of the earth and recently this was in news the sun is said to have gone into a state called solar minimum it means sun is about to enter the deepest period of sunshine recession as sun spots are virtually not visible at all actually the sun has a cycle that last on average 11 years and right now we are at the peak of that cycle every 11 years or so sun spots fade away bringing a period of relative calm and that is called solar minimum and it is a part of regular part of sunspot cycle and while intense activities such as sunspots and solar flares subside during solar minimum that doesn't mean that sun becomes dull it only means that solar activity simply changes form a calm sun you can say that is a solar minimum and there is solar maxima also solar minima and maxima are two extremes of sun's 11 year and 400 year activity cycle and 400 year activity cycle is solar maxima and at a maximum sun is peppered with sun spots solar flares erupts and uh, the sun hurls billion ton clouds of electrified gas into space so it is entirely opposite of solar minima sky watches may see more auroras and space agencies must monitor radiation storms for astronaut protection these all are part of solar maxima and that is how it is different from solar minima also and that's it we'll now move to last question for the day last question is national test abhyas the ai powered mobile app recently seen in the news is launched by which among the following option a iit mumbai option b drdo option c pratham ngo and option d ministry of human resources development please the correct answer here is it is option d ministry of human resources development this artificial intelligence powered mobile app has been developed by national testing agency to enable candidates to take mock test for exams such as je mai neet under the national testing agency's purview and the app has been launched to facilitate candidates access to high quality mock test in their homes since there was a demand for making up the loss of students due to closure of education institutions and uh, national testing agencies test practice centers due to the continuing lockdown that was in news recently and it is also a recent initiative that's why this question is asked that's it that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post answer to the challenge and your scores in the comment section thank you for watching